Now, as I'm recording this video, we are having record cold temperatures here where I live on the East Coast. Uh, and of course, we still have the wildfires in California. They've been burning for about three weeks now and are still not fully contained. Now, why is solar so important in situations like this? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is being less dependent on centralized infrastructure being less independent on the power company, whereas with solar and battery storage, you have decentralized energy generation and storage. So for example, if, if grid service goes down or if grid service becomes unreliable, you have the means of harvesting and storing the energy needs for your home right there on your property. That's one of my favorite things about solar is that everything you need, you can take physical custody of it right there on your own property, enough solar to capture enough energy during daylight hours, and then having enough battery storage to carry you through the night, and then the next day, the solar panels can just take over and recharge the battery, and that's available whether utility service is up or down. But there's a number of other natural disasters and extreme weather conditions where solar can help. Uh, let's look at hurricanes, for example. Now, here where I live on the East Coast, it's a pretty frequent occurrence to have hurricanes come through. Uh, oftentimes, those hurricanes can knock out electrical service. Now, one question I always get is, are solar panels strong enough to hold up to extreme high winds or hurricane force winds? Uh, and the answer, of course, is yes. When you install a solar power system on your home, the solar system and the racking equipment that's used to attach that solar system to your roof has to be built to the same building code as the, the building itself, as the roof itself. So if you live in an area that's prone to hurricanes or extreme high winds, let's say in, in the Miami area, you, might, you may have to build to 130 mile per hour wind rating. Well, the solar panel and the solar panel attachments also have to be built to that same 130 mile per hour wind rating. 